Hola, clase. Um, somebody in class the other day asked me if, and I can't remember who, sorry. Somebody in class asked me if I could show how to um, add effects on Pixton, the way I added the pictures of Paella in Chapter 2 and the pictures of that enormous telephone for Paquita in Chapter 2 and the cats in Chapter 3. So I will give you a quick rundown of how I do that, and I am sure that you'll be able to play with it and do it better than I have been able to do. So what you do, um, you can see I'm in Pixton. You should have signed up for the class, um, like you should have an account for it. If you haven't done that, you may have to go back to Green um, Circle Unit 1 and do that. But so I'm here on Pixton. And I'm going to click this red button that says New Comic. And I'm going to say Special Effects. And I'm going to say Continue. It doesn't have to be the permanent title. That's just what I'll call it for right now. And I'm going to go fairly quick. I'm going to find, ooh, I like this deer. No, actually, what do I like? Ooh, I like this beach. So I'm going to go with this beach, and I'm going to pick a character, and I can pick people from my own classroom. I'm going to pick from my class. Um, and this actually, wow, there's so many people. Where's me? I made a grown-up of myself, so I'm going to put me on the beach. Woohoo! And it doesn't matter what I do, I'm going to be... Ooh, I'm going to be surprised. Okay. So, I'm not going to say anything, because the purpose of this is not to show how you put in words, right? I would, If I was going to say something, I'd type it in here, but you can figure that out, right? So, I'm going to click Done. And then, it's going to ask me what I want to do with it, right? So, here's my new one with me on the beach. And I've got a share button, and I've got like a draw on button. That means that with the pencil, it means that I can edit it, I can open it up again. With the share, it means that I have choices whether I want to download it, or print it, or share it electronically. Uh, in order to draw on it, I'm going to download. And I don't want it just to be a little square, I want it to be a big square. So I click this one. And then it's going to download, and you see it just off screen. Like my recording screen doesn't hold my whole laptop right now, so it's in my little folder where it says special effects. So I'm going to click on it, I'm going to go open, and it downloads as a ping. So here I am on the beach, and I'm going to move it just a little bit so you can see the tools. So this is in the photo program, and I can crop it, I can trash it, which I don't want to do. Um, I can get creative with this photo. So that's where it's got a pencil and a paintbrush that are crossed. So I'm going to click on that, and I can edit it, I can draw, I can add 3D effects, which is new, add animated text, which is new, I can edit with Paint 3D. This is kind of fun. So I edit with Paint 3D. And it takes a minute to load. Do, 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 do. We're already at four minutes in. Please wait, opening file. All right, so let's say um, I want to use a calligraphy pen to write. Maybe I'll just draw some clouds. Oh, those are super beautiful and artistic. <laughs> Some clouds on my beach, right? I can use a pencil to maybe, here's a little crab that's crawling along the beach. Maybe it's a scorpion with a long tail. I don't even know what I'm drawing here, right? Maybe I want to um, add another picture with it. And so with that, oh, where is that? Um, 
you've got to have another picture that's saved and then you would paste it onto it. Um, so like if I wanted to have a shark that's flying through the air, I would go online. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to search for shark ping. So that PNG image is the kind of image that I want. And I want it to be transparent. And that gives me, if you've got this checker background, then that means that it's going to work, right? So it says free shark ping transparent download free clip art. So I am going to control C to copy the image. Actually, I might need to download it. I'm going to save image as. And I'm going to call it shark. And I'm going to save it as a, oops, it may not let me do it actually. Let's see if it works. All right. So then I go back to my photo thing. I pull it up. I pull up my paint 3D, which is where I've drawn my beautiful things, right? And I want to, um, magic select. Oh, actually, I don't want to do that. I'm going to pause for a minute. And see. Okay, I had to pause my video for just a second because I had to remember what to do. And I didn't want you to watch me going, um, um, duh. So I go up here to my left hand corner where it says menu. And then about the fourth one down, it says insert. So I go insert. And then I've got all kinds of photos in here, right? I've got files and I look for my shark. Right? There's Rafi, there's Rufi. Where's my shark? Shark, where are you? Oh no. I may not have filed it very well. That's the thing, when you, you have to give it a name that makes sense. I might have filed it in document. How about let's just put Rafi on? And we go open, and then it puts Rafi there in the sky. We don't really want him in the sky, right? We do want him a little bit bigger and then I'm going to move him so that he is here behind me. Okay. Then tilt a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. And then we're good to go. Now it's supposed to get rid of the checkerboard background. It didn't today, but I bet you can figure out with some trial and error how to make it so that the background goes away. Um, I'm going to now save this because of course I want my beautiful clouds to work. So I go back to the menu, I hit save and then it saves it. And so now I've got that as my artwork. Then you would put it into your slides when you finish, just like any other picture that you're putting into a slide. Thanks for watching this video. Wow. Eight and a half minutes of me showing how to do this. Probably you can figure out how to do it faster. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, this is where, if this were a real YouTube channel, I would say like, subscribe, ding that bell, but it's not. So I'll just say adios, nos vemos.